I just know the men and women of the Detroit Fire Department are some of the most loyal and hardworking people in the world. And so people come here to see that, see them put their lives on the lines for others. We try to give them the best training that we can. That's why I get up early and stay late so they have a chance to survive. Every single firefighter has gone through the application on the street and the ability to be able to safely serve the citizens of the city. Now we also have a new component to add to that, which is the FACT simulation system, which allows us to do the complete evolution of our students. We go from theory to the classroom, to the simulator, to the streets, which gives us the highest probability for safe operations on a daily basis. I'm able to put the students behind the wheel of a virtual apparatus without ever putting their safety in jeopardy or putting the rigs in jeopardy. They get to drive, they get to operate all of the levers, they get to operate the sirens, the horn, they get to operate the pump panel. They make the same mistakes just like they would at a hydrant, but instead of damage being done to the water main system or to the apparatus, now it's just an aha moment right here in this room new probationary technicians that are coming through the training academy and has to go through an emergency vehicle operators course before they can uh, get on the road to drive. And what that entitles is initially they have eight hours of classroom work. Once they complete their eight hours of classroom work, at that time what we do is we head over to the simulator and we start reinforcing those skills that they've learned in the classroom, checking for blind spots, checking and clearing multiple lanes of traffic. That way we're mentally reinforcing them for when they get out onto the street that they have those cues and they know what to look for. So that way they're safe, their partner's safe, the patient's safe, and the citizens in the city are safe. Uh, we primarily use it for MFR and paramedicine, as well as uh, we bring some of the fire recruits in just to kind of promote courtesy or uh, scene situational awareness as well. We've had police in here just to work with uh, inner cooperation. We have one of the most prestigious histories as a fire department that's known throughout the world. You go anywhere and you say Detroit Fire, people understand the passion and the service that we provided for the entirety of our department. We have training classes where students come from as far as Belgium, Japan, from China, where they come to interact to not only get our experience, but also to get our intellect of what's necessary to be a safe professional firefighter. But now, because we're going into the 21st century, we wanted to be able to tie technology in with our experience. And that's what we're able to do once we found the simulators, infused them into our curriculum. And from there, we continue to find different applications to bring our studies to life. We've gotten feedback from our trial firefighters. We got some excellent feedback from the second deputy commissioner of how much the training has been turned around. We've gotten feedback from the community. The high school program has been involved in numerous studies. The basic training program has been completely overhauled. Being able to offer driver's training to our drivers to bring even current operators down and to allow them to learn new things about apparatus without again risking their safety or risking the equipment has been just a phenomenal outpouring of feedback. And so I got some of the best instructors in the world that helped me live our mission. It's ours, so this is family. I spent more time with these guys than I did with mine. Everybody goes through that simulator just to make sure that you're able to drive safely because the whole point of it is to arrive safely and not hurt anyone on the way. This is a family for real.